Pilipines a uh, uh, konsi na uh, makabata yung uh, sa speakers bureau natin. Is this intended to get the youth vote? Kasi alam naman natin very strong ang youth vote. Uh, uh, siyempre si Konsi Princess knows this and di ba sa Tangeri survey na may sinasabi na medyo malakas si si Marcos sa uh, Mindanao and and how how does uh, pro- I want to know from you both how do, how do we stand vis-a-vis the the youth vote? Are we strong there and what are we doing? to be stronger to to own up to that kind of vote considering that isko is the youngest uh, one is the youngest uh, presidential candidate or uh, among the youngest uh princess uh once azler want to go first <laughs> uh, yes. I, i think yes. i know no um on the youth vote um definitely mayor isko would be one of the, um, one of the best choices for youth vote aside from being being able to identify with him as one of the well i think he's the youngest candidate you know yeah, um yeah. for oh, money pakel pa pala but yeah the um, money no money or oh, um, younger oh, money oh. around my age din ata pag magkalapit lang yes. sila ng age ni mayor isko but he being one of the youngest um uh candidate they can really identify with him number two, um his platform of government really paves the way for Um, the young people. Uh, of course, um, yung 10-point agenda ni Mayor really delves yes, on yes, the yes. whole life cycle no? uh, from from education to to adulthood. But he's, you can see also his um, his competence in technology and um, smart governance, um, yung kanyang uh, ability to to not just work hard but work smart. Um, that is something yes. that the young people like can that. <laughs> identify smart. with, um, and he really does work smart. Um, you, you know, you can you can you can work 10, 18 hours a day, but um, have a production of five hours. But um, you can you can work five to 10 hours, but have a production of 18 hours. It's it's about smart working, and we've seen that also with Mayor Isko on how he really work smart in the city of Manila and how he has turned us around in the past three uh, less than three years um, so we see more uh, young people to um, be drawn to him um, siguro kaya siguro sa in some of um, the, the surveys now mas nakita si yung ibang kandidato na more inclined ang mga kabataan because uh, you have to remember Mayor Isko has not been um, he has not been campaigning nationally until when he declared as president uh, to run as president no um so hindi siya pa na, hindi pa niya talaga napakilala ang sarili niya as a national candidate until he made that final decision to run now that we he is able now to go around then even when he declared as mayor because as pres, uh, candidate for president he was still very much concerned in Uh, sa sitwasyon ng City of Manila kaya nagiging divided pa yung attention niya but um, now that he's able to go around he are he's people in the ground in pro- provinces are able to hear him personally now they hear more of his vision of his um, platform and I, i i can expect more young people to to see that yeah. this is the person that we would want to lead us um, because this is their generation and yes. um, they, this is their this is their six years of um, of 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 life that golden she, years <laughs> yes she, she mayor is close the potential person that would lead them to the success that they are um, envisioning for themselves so i i'm sure as we go through the campaign trail um, more young people will see him as the leader that they want to to follow for the next six years yes. At saka po yung sa question na uh, ano na po uh, how are we in, uh, relative to the youth vote do we get their support ilan percentage and what are we going to do to bring the, uh, bring them in Well I think uh, mas mas importante na magkaroon tayo na mas maraming uh, kabataan na lumabas. Uh, I, I get okay. a lot of young volunteers these days. Uh, I have isang grupo nga, isko tayo kabataan. 
they're getting a lot of interest these days no people wanting young people wanting to join them no so sabi ko nga it's just a matter of how could we harness yung kanila energies to mga energies ng kabataan and also uh, imbibe yung mga kanilang uh, iniisip mga plano nasa puso nila sa mga kapwa nila kabataan ito lang yan di ba ang pagpaparami ay sa isang sa isang sektor ay kailangan merong magsimula sa isang sektor no so parang hawa-hawa so i think that nagsisimula na yan ngayon and that uh, the numbers for the 20 to 29 age bracket, bracket will uh, improve uh, in, in probably in a month's time uh, as we as we move along and as these young people get themselves involved uh, panawagan ko rin sa kanila also uh, watch yung mga interviews for the presidents the debates the forums they should participate this is your future uh, young men young people uh, young men young women and you should have a stake in this. And Mayor Isko has a welcoming, uh, he will be have a welcoming government to very young people with very good talents. I also yes. like to add, no, I think um, the mayor has always been very vocal about this. He will have an inclusive government, um, not just a, a young government or, but an inclusive government. And one of the things that I've experienced with him personally, he listens. Um, hindi porke uh, ikaw yung matanda o ikaw yung mas matagal niyang kilala o ikaw yung mukhang matalino o mukhang mayaman. But he listens to everyone. He considers your voice and um, takes it into consideration. Um, a lot of our leaders kasi sometimes, and, and as a young person, no, um, being part of the NYC for five years prior to joining um, elective ah, yeah. um, election, uh, elective politics, um, yan ang mga concerns ng mga bata na na-undermine yung kanilang potential because they're just young. With Mayor Isko, you don't have to worry about that because he, um, with, with this inclusive policy, he listens to everyone and make sure he would make sure that everyone would form part of his government as policy makers. And that's what we want to see. Uh, in ako, uh, That's one of our policy goals before in the National Youth Commission is that um, raising the level of the young people uh, as policy makers. And we've seen that in the city of Manila. We've seen it in his own um, office, in the office of the mayor. If you if you get the chance to get to know um, yung from 2019 when he was mayor, it's, uh, it's a various groups of um, of leaders. But yung pinakabata doon, I think, ano, uh, in his 20s when, when he started um, becoming a mayor. And I'm excited when... when if given the chance, lagi nga sinasawa, sinasabi may awa ang Diyos, mabigyan siya ng pagkakataon na maging presidente. I'm looking forward to see uh, uh, a cabinet of various um, expertise and age that will really give a more dynamic Philippines because of the kind of leadership that he would give. Music